Okay, shalom. Shalom. We're going to start off souls by giving no praise to Yahweh. Yeah, Hashem, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Double honor to the apostles of GMS and honesty to you doing the work in truth, what sincerity. Yeah, we just um, threw on something on Netflix, man. Uh, Liquid Science with that, uh, that, with that geezer, GZA, or Jizza from the Wu Tang clan. He's trying to be a scientist right now. You know, it's, it's, it, it ain't vibing. Well, you know, he went from uh, doing a uh, basic instruction before leaving Earth, talking about scriptures, you know, talking about Esau, you know, and all of that, to, uh, uh, you know, 50 million years ago. <laughs> you know, all of the science that Esau pushes out, right? You know, you know, his whole, basically, the, the, the uh, what you call it, all, all, all of the, all of the uh, false science, the science falsely so called that Esau pushes out. Right, but well, you know, you watch it, and one of the first things they go into, one of the things they go into, is the fact that you know, quote unquote, the Earth is heating up, yada 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 yada, right? And how I would call it, man may have to move underground. If you could get me Psalm forty nine eleven first, first of all, bro, all right. sure. if you've got space, you've got hands. Yep, forty nine eleven. Yeah. yeah. Right. This is Psalm chapter forty nine verse eleven. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever and their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own names. Right, so the scripture says their inward thought is that their houses should continue forever. Could you also get me Matthew 24, 22? Mm-hmm. If you can, but because you are. Right, so, so they're going into all of these like, oh, you know, we need to imagine a world where we have to live on the ground, blah, 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 because they think that this place is going to carry on forever, but you read the scripture book for sure. Right, this is Matthew chapter 24, verse 22. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Right, so it's going into the fact that he, this guy, this man, Esau, will kill everyone uh, around him. Huh? So here it is, they're imagining a future where we might have to go underground, but that, that already is the death of, of the world. Right, for, for you to actually have to change your entire habitat because the one that the Lord has designed and created for you, right, it, it is ruined, right, then you've got issues. And the next thing they're going into is, is robotic bees, right? And it's just like, why, why, why are you going to go and do that for? Right, because the Lord has already created a bee and the bee is very fucking good at the job it does. Right, so instead of not, instead of undoing the damage that you're doing, and then, like allowing the bees to be able to po- uh, to pollinate to do what they're doing naturally, Esau just says, "Ah, oh, fuck it, we'll uh, which we'll, call we'll, uh, create robotic bees." Yeah, I got a precept. Mm. Uh, this is Psalm chapter sixty-four, verse five. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares privily. They say, "Who shall see them?" They search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search, both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep. Yeah, it says they comp- uh, 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 so we read that last verse again. They search out iniquities, they accomplish a diligent search. Both- yeah, yeah, and that's, that's, that's the research that Esau does. I mean, they were saying how they're researching into making these robotic bees, researching hurricanes. Yeah. And, you know, they, you see these test centers that these guys are going. Uh, these test centers cost money. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and I was just gonna say if I could say, Esau's pumping all this money. Like the, when we we're watching this uh, show, it's called Liquid Science, right? Um, with the first episode, they were basically um, trying to recreate, um, you know, insects robotically so that they can, in the future, so called, you know, pollinate uh, instead of the bees because the bees are becoming wiped out; they're becoming extinct, mm. right? And uh, you know, me and above reasoning, so they're tr- basically trying to be like the most time, man. Yeah. But the most size when you've got a perfect creation. Exactly. Okay, so you're creating these insects that can, you know, maybe one day have the technology to pollinate these flowers. But yeah. okay, can they can they make honey? Mm. Okay, can have they got a syst- a system within themselves where they can find out because bees can, uh, you know, we were watching one documentary where it was saying that the the, the bees have a way in the, within their um, their traveling system. That they can find basically the the, the most mm. was it the quickest route, the most efficient, the most efficient like route to get to to get to the to the flower man, to get to the pollen, yeah, and get back home and all of that. That's it. So the Lord has already created you know a, a receptor system, a, a system for these bees to all they man- maneuver and do what they got to do on the mm. earth. And the scriptures really talk about bees. 
Right, right. Yeah, well, I think, um, or is it an ant? Let me just find it. All right. Because, yeah, you also, you know, it speaks about the ant. Learn the way of the ant, thou sluggard. Okay, yeah, can't yeah. do that. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And what else? You, you get, you talked about the honey, but the honey has healing properties. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Depending on the kind of flowers as well. Exactly. Because, like, for example, you've got manuka honey. Yeah. Which is um, quite sought after for its healing properties. Yeah. And that's because it's from the manuka plant, man. Yeah. You know? And you've got Scottish wildflower honey, which, uh, you know, which is good as well. Mm-hmm. Right, so you could get all of that. So let, let's say you've got topical, you know, you, you know, your skin's burn. Yeah. And I, I believe brothers have done it where they've had like skin injuries. They put that honey on it and it got healed. Yeah. But so then what happens then? But that's that's the thing. Esau doesn't want you going to the herbs for healing. Esau wants you going to him for healing. Yeah. Right. Instead of just putting some manuka honey or whatever, Esau wants you performing skin grafts and all of that shit. Yeah. They're doing all this research, all this, you know, they've got this, all this so-called knowledge. But they're not using it for any form of righteousness. Mm. It's not in balance, because why? Because they ain't the Most High. Mm. Okay, yeah. it's, the, it's the infinite wisdom yeah. of the Most High that they, you know that this is happening, man. All this creation, but they're trying to destroy it. Yeah. It would be much cheaper instead of researching and trying to create robotic bees to just not kill the bees in the first place. Yeah, I got a precept. Yeah, this is Isaiah chapter fourteen, verse thirteen. For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. Mm. Yeah, right. are you going to go into that? Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, that's East. I've got um, my most holding. My favourite is equal 28. One of my favourites is equal 28. Going into the nature of this man, right? Esau is basically, look, look, oh, you know, I'm going to go into space like the elder, elder brother. Mark on Elder Rukar uh, speaking on the fact that here it is, Esau's trying to go into space, but people can't even eat right here. Right? You've got McDonald's all over the place, KFC, right? These great uh, 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 chicken spots, you know, people overeating, right? On one half of the world, you've got people that are obese, on the yeah. other half of the world, you've got people that are malnourished. Yeah. Does that even make sense? Yeah, man's trying to go to space. It's out of balance. Out of balance. And the Lord don't. You know, don't yeah. deal with things out of yeah. balance, man. I'll just keep reading what the Bible's getting yeah. there. It says, because uh, the point is 17. Mm. It says, um, Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit. Which basically means, hey, man, Obadiah, Obadiah man, we're going to get rid of you, man. Okay? Well, you're going to be, you're going to, you're going to feel that death coming for you, man. Okay? You're going to be completely wiped away because we don't need you. Mm. We don't need you, man. Yeah. Okay? Once you've served your judgment, and you served your hardcore slavery, and you you know we we got it we got it out of our system. You know, beat the shit out of you basically in the kingdom. You know, uh, talking about Esau, mm. Edomites, the so-called white man. Okay, you know, after all that, man, then we're gonna get rid of you because we don't need you, man. Mm. It says they that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee, mm. and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble, that did shake kingdoms? Mm-hmm. How did he do yeah. that? Sorry. How did he do that? He dropped the um, the atomic atomic yeah. bombs, for example, his nuclear wep- weaponry that has been, you know, that really that that knowledge was given to him from the Most High. Mm. All knowledge comes from the Most High. Yeah. Right. Hey, hey, could you read that again? Sure. Yeah. They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, "Is this the man that made the earth to tremble?" You can't. And 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 we hey, when, once you get in this truth, that's something you start doing as well. Right. You'll be seeing this guy and how this guy. You know, you might be at the job. You see, or, or you'll be in areas where Edomites reside. My uh, friends is here in London, one of the, one of the uh, real posh places for Edomites, like Kensington and Chelsea. So you'll be going through those areas, like Park Lane, Mayfair. You're going through those areas, seeing those Edomites so stiff. You're like, is this the guy who runs the world? You see how they, you know, their homosexual antics, right? And you're like, man, this is the man, right? You you see you see how they'll uh, they'll get as soon as they see Jake. Right, just walking around being manly, all stiff and not. You're like, man, this is the guy who got us in slavery. Yeah, that's how we're gonna look at you in the kingdom. That's yeah. how everyone's gonna look that's at you. That's how like everyone. Right. We're, we're yeah. already looking at you yeah, like that. Exactly. We're already looking at you sideways, you devil. Yeah. <laughs> but in the kingdom, everyone's. It's sort of like like it's sort of like everyone's just gonna click out of the spine. Like, oh shit! Wait, what? What you What you mean? Oh, it was, it was a base man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It says that made the world as a wilderness. Hmm. And hey, you see that all over the world, man. Esau's going around dropping uh, atomic uh, material everywhere, 
right? And then that's that's like destroying uh, which called the water. It's giving people cancer. Yeah. Right, you go over there to Chernobyl, where you had that um, Chernobyl disaster. Yeah, the, the disaster. Yeah, the there. Fukushi- Fukushima, Fukushima nuclear power plant. Yeah. You know, right. all of those those places are uninhabitable, man. Yeah, and the Fukushima disaster, that nuclear disaster, hey, that that started falling into the Pacific Ocean, yeah. and all the oceans are connected. So now all the oceans are getting messed up. We were watching a show. And the guy in the show was talking about how the coral reefs are getting destroyed, man. Mm, mm. And that like a third of all um, fish life, sea life, um, basically um, depend. depend on that coral reef, yeah, man. Yeah, Because, hey, the Lord, the Lord has created the perfect cycle, right? The Lord, Lord hey, let me, let me get this real quick, Baba Kishan, we can carry on with that. Right, this is uh, Sirach 39 and uh, 33. It says, all the works of the Lord are good. And he will give every needful thing in due season, right? So the Lord has basically created everything and everything is good as it was, right? But then Esau's come around and then he's messed it up. And then now things that were good are no longer good, right? But then the Lord, that's why the Lord is, is going to have to take Esau out so that things can go back into their, to the, into their rightful estate, right? So for instance, you, got, you know, the whole world is, is, is linked by cycles. You know, you've got the water cycle. For instance, all right, and then you you, you know you've got uh, what you call the food chain. You, when you when you have a uh, what you call the coral reefs that are damaged, then the fish that feed off of the things that grow on the coral, they they their numbers decline. Then you, you then you may end up getting a pest that gets too big, right? And that's the thing because you know everything's about predators and prey, predators and prey, right? For instance, you may have uh, too many. Uh, how would you call too many mice running around? So then you might use a snake to, to get rid of the mice. Then you might have too many snakes. So then you use a pig. Like that's one of the things they do over there in some of the ranches in America where they got rattlesnake problems. They'll use pigs to basically battle the rattlesnakes because p- pigs are so toxic that rattlesnake poison doesn't do anything to them. Right? So all of these things, it's all finely balanced and that's the way the Lord designed it. But you read uh, Genesis, he says, and they saw it was good, and they saw it was good, and they saw it was yeah. good. And everything was good. But then this devil comes along, the scriptures talk about how he's the border of wickedness, mm. right? And he's just gone around destroying everything, man. Okay. But we're going to destroy him. Yeah. I've got a quick scripture. Uh, this is uh, done on Isaiah. This is uh, Revelation chapter 11, verse 18. And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead, that they should be judged. And that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints, to my Israelites, but specifically the prophets, referring there, to my because the elect of Israel is going to be the ones that are going to receive salvation on this side, and through the elect, the whole the, the whole nation of Israel is going to come back in the reincarnation. This is unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and them that fear thy name, as the elect, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. Mm. So, hey, the Lord is going to basically come here to lay the smack down on these guys, man. Mm. Okay, because they're destroying the earth right now. Yeah. And the scriptures do say that the earth abideth forever. Mm. So they're not going to be able to, you know, crack the tectonic plates and, yeah. the, you know, crack it like the earth like an egg and destroy it. No. Well, hey, if I can say that's because the Lord has already built in a, a what do you call it, a, a system. For instance, right, so we was watching a, a, a nature documentary, uh, David Attenborough, right? Mm-hmm. I don't know whether it was Planet Earth 1 or 2. But one of the things they uh, was going into is how there's an ant in one of those rainforests, which is like the top predator. And uh, nothing yeah. right, can kill this ant. Nothing can kill this ant. So the Lord basically created a bacteria that the ant basi- that basically kills the ant from the inside. Oh, it kills itself, right? Yeah. It basically yeah. kills itself. And that's like Esau. Esau's that top level predator at the moment. Right? What's, the, what's, what's the Lord done? He's basically made it such that Esau is going <laughs> to kill himself. Right, he's given him the understanding of the of the nuclear weaponry and all of that. He's made him his his heart proud, right? And those two things, <laughs> those two things mixed in together, right, is gonna what's is gonna lead into that World War Three, right? It's gonna lead into America being completely destroyed, right? And then from then it's gonna lead in uh, to what you and and and, the, and what was talking about the pride, the pride of the elites is that they'll survive the war, that the World War Three, oh. so they'll be in their bunkers. They'll be on the ground. They'll, they'll be, you know, in the ISS, International Space Station, right? Yeah, gonna, precept. Yeah, bring it up. This is Amos chapter nine, verse two. 
though they dig into hell. Yeah, so one of the things they were looking into in this documentary, and we said that when I was watching it, mm -hmm. right, because these guys, they, you know, the, the, the guy was like, oh, you know, I'm an ex-NASA engineer or whatever it was. Yeah. Right, and he's thinking that he's designing these systems for the greater population. No, he's designing it for the elites. Yeah. Like one of the, what they were trying to do is basically channel sunlight into an underground cave. Right, and he basically saying what he the, the 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 phrase he said is basically making sunlight into a liquid, and then we can then move that around, etc. And then we can now light underground places, and even such that they started growing uh, food underground, like pineapples, etc. Yeah. Right, and then these guys think that they're doing it for the greater good of humanity, not for the elites. Because what does the scripture say? It says, "Though they dig into hell, yeah, then shall mine hand take them." Yeah. yeah. Because they can't hide from the angels. Yeah. It says, though they climb up to heaven, yeah. that's when I bring them down. Because yeah, yeah. you've got the International Space Station, yeah. like it says, some of them, you know, they got, you got uh, Richard Branson, you know, trying to make it like a commercial mm. uh, thing where, you know, I think Verge or something, yeah. where Virgin Galactic. Virgin Galactic, where people are going to go up into the, into the, yeah. up into the, like, out, the atmosphere and come back. That's like eight years overdue for, I, I believe, don't quote me this, I believe the first flight was supposed to be back in 2010. Right, and, and you've got all of those billionaires that bought a hundred grand tickets or whatever, just waiting. They're like, oh, cool, you know. It's, it's, but they're gonna do that because the scriptures say it. They're gonna go up into heaven, and yeah. they're gonna. But the Lord's gonna take them out of that, man. Yeah. But yeah. if I can say, that's why there's no point selling out to Esau, because all of these things are promised to us anyway. Well, hey, you, hey, we, we, we read about the chariots of the Lord. Right, we, hey, we read about the new bodies, uh, which were the spiritual bodies that we're gonna uh, we're gonna have, man. So here it is. Esau can't, you know, he can't even get past the Van Van Allen belt. But what is it? What does it say in John? Yeah, how should I said, you know, uh, in my father's house and many mansions, I go and prepare a place for you. So we're gonna be doing all of that space travel. Yep. We're gonna. So here it is. You sold out. You got a couple billion, right? And then you're thinking, yeah, I'm going to buy a ticket on a Virgin Galactic. But the Lord already promised that to you, man. Well, then, you know, as in that's the Israelites. <laughs> you know, with, with, you know for, for anyone uh, mis misinterprets what I said. Now, I've got a preset. This is Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 35. Thus saith the Lord, which giveth the sun for a light by day, and the ordinances of the moon and of the stars for a light by night, which divideth the sea when the waves thereof roar, the Lord of hosts is his name. If those ordinances depart from before me, saith the Lord, then the seed of Israel also shall cease from being a nation before me forever. Mm, so, so that's what Esau's trying to do, man. That's why he's, uh, would you call it, that's why he, he's making the Hubble telescope and, you know, all of these and that, uh, measuring, uh, space measuring devices, which links back to Psalm 64, about how these guys perform the diligent search, man. But he, they spent millions, billions Right, researching space, man. Right, each of those uh, uh, missions up to the ISS cost cost millions, man. Yeah. Right, they they you know then they got the what do you call it the telescopes that they built all over the world. Right, and these ain't no small uh, you know puny telescopes. These are big, massive, multi million pound telescopes, yeah. man. They got what? satellites out there in the sp in yeah. in the heavens. Yeah. With telescopes. On. Exactly. Yeah. And, yeah. and but how did the Lord mock them? Yeah. Because each time they look back, they find out it's expanding, man. They find out everything's expanding, pursuant to what the scripture said about a go and prepare a place for you, right? They find out that the heavens expand. So here's Esau's trying to measure everything to, you know, get the, you know, fulfill these precepts, right? So like, oh, oh, oh shit, it's what we can get the birth right. Man. Yeah, because they're reading this, yeah. Yeah, all, all we gotta do, right? You know, it's going to measure the heavens, you know, measure, measure the depths of the sea. And then, and then how else did the Lord mock them? Yeah. You can't even go down to the depths of the sea like that, man. Yeah, the Lord's mocking them, man. Yeah. It says, Thus saith the Lord, if heaven above can be measured, and the foundations of the earth searched out beneath, I will also cast off all the seed of Israel for all that they have done, saith the Lord. Can't so easy, you know, like, oh shit, yeah, oh, oh, oh man, yeah, that's how we get, that's, that's how we get the birth right back. Yeah. What you don't understand is it was never meant for you anyway. Yeah. Well, the Lord is not the author of confusion. Yeah. Throughout the scriptures, is salvation has always been for yeah, Israel. Exactly. So where he's just in just well, suddenly the Lord's going to decide. That, hey, the Lord is first of all, the Lord is not a man that he should lie. Yeah. And and the Lord also Malachi three and six he changes not. Yeah. Therefore, you sons of Jacob were not consumed, man. Yeah. 
the Lord ain't gonna the Lord is mocking them, man. Yeah. Because these things are basically impossible for him to do. Exactly. For him to be able to do them in the first place, that knowledge has to be given to him. But yeah. that knowledge exactly. is not for him. Exactly. That knowledge is for the Israelites, yeah. man. Exactly. And hey, Isaiah fifty five and eleven, my word shall not return unto me voice. If the Lord said something, it's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. So what did Obadiah say, man? Oh yeah, well, well let's read that. Hey, Obadiah said Hey. Let's get it. Yeah. Yeah, let's read that. This is Obadiah chapter 1, verse... 18. God, there's a lot in this still. Okay. Right, I'll, I'll read it in. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, mm. and the house of Joseph a flame, mm. and the house of Esau for stubble. Right, so it, 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 based the nation of Israel is going to be that flame, and Esau is going to be uh, what is getting burnt up, man. Yeah. And they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there mm. shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord hath spoken it. Yeah, yeah. So the Lord is the one that said that there won't be any uh, remaining of the house of Esau. That's right. Right. Man. So here, here it is. You, 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 hey, try measure space. Try measure the depths of the sea. It ain't gonna help you. Yeah, that's right. And we, what they were bringing, I was saying earlier, um, they were trying to measure like how hurricanes were working, mm. right? And, and the conclusion that they came to after all this research is how to es better efficiently escape the hurricane. Yeah. But hold on a second. I was like, you're trying to be like the Most High, right? But the Most High brings the hurricanes. Mm. Even what Yahweh Shai, he rebuked the winds. Yeah. And there was, and you know, the disciples were marveling like, oh, what manner of man is this that can even the, even the winds mm. obey him? Mm. So the infinite wisdom of how to control, create, and manipulate the, the, the winds and the hurricane is, is from the Most High. But you ain't on no level. You're trying to escape. And that's all you, you're trying to do. Mm. You're trying to go on the underground, trying to escape up into heaven. Trying to, All you're trying to do is, is escape because that's the MO, man, of the so-called white man, man. He's a fugitive on the, on yeah, the earth, man. He's, he, he's escapes from, he tries to escape from his identity, which is Esau. Mm. Tries to escape from judgment, which he's not going to be able to escape because it's in prophecy. Yeah. You know? And that's why the elites, man, when they, you know, they, watch, they watch the, um, the prophets, man. Okay, and they, they're afraid, man. Mm. They're afraid, man. That's why they're trying everything they can. But you know what? The Lord is what? The Lord has actually given them um, a, a pride, man. He's given, well, given them a stiff neck, yeah. harden their hearts as the Pharaoh. Yeah. Let me say it like that. You know? Yeah. But hey, pride was not made for man. Hey, and what does it say? It's good to say, pride goes before a fall, man. That's right. And that fall is coming soon, man. You're not going to. Uh, oh, you know what? Let me get that in Job 20. Just remembered. You don't go to do your enterprise, man. Can't. This is a. Uh, Sorry, just a minute. Yeah, I'll get it. I have to. Can't. This is a uh, Job chapter twenty. Um, verse twenty-two. In the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. When he is about to fill his belly, Yahweh Shai shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him. And shall rain it upon him while he is eating. So just when he thinks he's about to, to do it and he's about to complete this new world agenda, this you know, all this this madness, this wickedness, the Lord ain't gonna have that man. The Lord is gonna is gonna save his people and he's gonna destroy the wicked man. Okay, and he's gonna he's gonna have the wicked in in their in their rightful place, man. Mm. The heathen in their rightful place, which is under the Israelites, man, in servitude. You know? It's Ezekiel twenty eight. From the top says the word of Yahweh came again unto me, saying, "Son of man, say unto the prince of Tyrus, Thus saith the Lord Power, right? Because then the heart is lifted up, right? So it, 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 what you gotta understand is scriptures are twofold. Sometimes we we'll speak about a certain man, but in modern day times can be uh, applied to another uh, another man. In this case, right, it's talking about uh, uh, these Edomites, Esau. When, how, um, what is the proof of that? This this line here, because thine heart is lifted." up mm. right who's more proud than Esau like we're saying he's 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 actually being the most high he's trying to do he, he said hey he was born a man it's okay I can, I can I can change them right you know hey, hey the Lord made man and woman ah it's okay I, I, I'll, I'll make something else mm -hmm. like talking about hey, like we said at the beginning the Lord said he made everything and it was good and Esau's trying his best to corrupt that man yeah right but when the Lord comes out all that corruption is going to be overturned everything's going to be clean man that's right. what it's telling us. So it's telling yeah. I'll be about the most time. Exactly. But you can't be, man. That's exactly. the ancient of days. Exactly. All wisdom comes from Yahweh, exactly. Shai, man. Exactly. All right, it says, And now I said, I am a God. Right? I sit in the seat of God and in the midst of the seas. 
right? But then it goes on to say, Yet thou art a man and not God, though thy set thine heart as the heart of God. Right? And like we, we, we mentioned a few things throughout the course of this sit down in, in instances of how Esau uh, 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 carries himself and thinks that he is a God, but he's not a God. Yeah, right? the Lord said he, he ain't having no other gods beside him, man. Yeah. Okay? He, he's right. the no, ancient no, of days. He can't, yeah. He's the ancient of days, man. He, look, he's outside of time, outside of all that. Yeah. All that yeah. wisdom was given from what? From Yahweh the Most High yeah. to, to Yahweh Shai to go and what? Create everything with the angels, yeah. man. Even you, know? you, Esau. That's right. Right? Go and say, Behold, thou art wiser than Daniel. And like we're saying, a lot of these things that Esau has been able to do mm -hmm. is a, a infinite wisdom, man. Right? He's, he's wiser than Daniel. Daniel didn't know how to create an atomic bomb. Daniel didn't know how to make a man into a woman. Daniel didn't know how to put a, a penis on a woman, man, or turn a penis into a vagina. And Daniel Esau, weren't trying to do that. <laughs> he, Daniel, you're right, Daniel weren't trying to do that. And when you look into it, how Esau's actually got turning a, a penis into a vagina into a sweet science, man, up until the uh, point where I was reading into it, and it was basically saying that these fake boxes can get wet as well because of the way man cuts... Uh, would you call it cuts the uh, cuts the uh, the penis like sort of like how uh, would you call it, you're about to deal with a woman, right? You start basically getting some pre cum. He's basically re uh, uh, re what re plumbed that so that that same technology that the Lord has created in your urethra, right, is then able to make it look like the that that, that fake vagina is getting wet. It goes as far as to say uh, this article I was reading that not even a, a, a doctor will tell. Could, would be able to tell only a gynecologist who's actually flickering, flickering in around would be able to tell, right? And that's that, that's that's where we are. So it said, "Behold, thou art wiser than Daniel. There is no secret they can hide from thee. With thy wisdom and with thine understanding, thou hast gotten thee riches, and hast gotten gold and silver and stature. So, some of the uh, uh, wisdom and understanding, right, is the understanding of how to create these weapons, which ultimately goes back to his blessing, which is the sword." Right, and in, in that he's been able to bully all the nations and then put his doctrine into those nations. Right? It says, um, Therefore thou saith the Lord power, because thou set thine heart as the heart of God, behold, therefore will I bring strangers upon thee, the terrible of the nations, and they shall draw their swords against the beauty of thy wisdom, and they shall defile thy brightness. And yeah, you're gonna have uh which will all these heathen nations uh coming together fighting against America, man, even America's allies. You're reading some of the articles that are coming out now with, uh, with you know, uh, because of the stuff that DJ Trump has been doing, right? You're like, right, okay, so they, you know, um, America's allies ain't down for them like they used to be. From I mean, hey, from from the time you're having America's allies straight saying, you know, some of the things they're saying these days, you you can tell that that the animosity has come, right? Uh, it, it goes on to say. They shall bring thee down to the pit, and thou shalt die the deaths of them that are slain in the midst of the seas. Right? And then here, here's the Lord mocking, right? He says, Will thou yet say before him that slayeth thee, I am God? <laughs> right? But thou shalt be a man and no God yep. in the hand of him that slayeth thee. Right? Thou shalt die the deaths of the uncircumcised by the hands of strangers. For I have spoken it, saith the Lord power. Right. Um, I've got a scripture mm. I would bang out before but it's just got to be after what he brought out it's got to be read again mm. this is Matthew chapter 24 verse 22 and except those days should be shortened there should no flesh be saved but for the elect's sake those days shall be shortened mm. so if the Lord weren't going to shorten his time right now for the elect's sake Esau would just end up destroying everything yeah. man Yeah. you know Wait, hey, one of the things uh, we just remember uh, Apostle Ricard saying a long time ago Hey man, you know, hey, I like those old ones with kids, man, because you know they're a woman. What's he still doing now? He's still trying to put artificial wombs into men. Yeah. You know, now you've got men giving birth. Right? It's wickedness, man. Okay. Okay. But yeah, man, hey, those all who edified, um, you know, give all praise to Yahweh, Shemiah, 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 Double honest to the puzzle of GMS. Double honest. And honestly, Bob's doing the work in truth or sincerity. She won. She loved.